Welcome, Culturians. If you're a cinephile or just a fellow uh, silver screen enthusiast like myself, Aaron Taylor Johnson may have some music to your ears. Recently, the future James Bond actor and an action star in his own right offered up some of his thoughts on what makes up a good film and what makes a bad film. And it doesn't sound like anything that the studios are doing right now. Let's explore Aaron Taylor Johnson's perspectives on the state of modern cinema, his superhero franchise, and maybe some fatigue on that note, and the potential dawning of the iconic mantle of James Bond. This is gonna be an interesting one. Here we go. So let's start with a very accomplished actor and somebody who you may not have heard of, Aaron Taylor Johnson. This versatile dude is known for his captivating performances and he was recently featured in a Rolling Stone UK uh, write-up, including the cover. He offered up a glimpse into his upcoming projects, which we know something about, and was very candid on his thoughts for the film industry. For many people, that name, his name, does just doesn't ring a bell. But for most people, uh, they've, they've at least seen it, one of his films. I mean, his IMDb credits are numerous, including Kick-Ass and Quicksilver in two of the Marvel films. He was Ives in Tenet, which I thought was a good movie. He was uh, Archie in The Kingsman, and he was Tangerine in what I think is the most underappreciated action film ever, Bullet Train. And he's got some upcoming films you may have heard of, like The Fall Guy, he's a supporting actor there, and he's also the titular character, Enter, Craven the Hunter. Taylor Johnson's upcoming superhero venture, and again, he's no stranger to superhero stuff, could redefine the entire genre and maybe bring some people back. I don't think that's necessarily going to happen, and I appreciate his enthusiasm, but at least he's focused on a character-driven approach and on storytelling. Aaron embraces the challenge of launching, launching into a new franchise in the ever-expanding Marvel Universe, which, as I've said before, he's already been a part of, although this is technically the Sony-verse. So are those the same? And also in this interview, he intimates that he favors catering to the audience and what their expectations are, rather than what the studio's whims are, which seem to change daily. He obviously remains grounded, he has artistic integrity, and it shows in his dedication to change his physical build as the roles have required. If you take a look at him now, which he's yoked, it sh you can see a stark difference in where he was when he was playing the character Kick-Ass. He grew into his manhood, so to speak. And this speaks volume into his desire to make Craven an important character and just deliver the best possible performance within the confines of what we would normally see in superhero fare. Now, amidst a lot of early speculation surrounding his potential role as the next James Bond, Aaron Taylor Johnson tread carefully in that Rolling Stone interview. He was incredibly cagey, to say the least, saying that I can only really talk about the things that I'm going to show and tell. I don't feel like, I feel like whatever's drawn out for me, I can freaking do better. And of course I cleaned up the language there, but I agree with him. He's definitely acknowledging the allure of that iconic character, as would I, and while remaining very focused on the present moment, which a lot of people don't do. Again, being very grounded. And as those rumors were swirling during the time of this interview, and, and fans were eagerly awaiting news of the who the next James Bond was going to be, word came out on Tuesday that, well, it was his job for the taking. And I suspect he'll probably take it. In fact, decent chance he's already signed on the bottom line and we just don't know it yet. Of course, Aaron's career is going to continue to grow. He's got new adventures that await him, and personally, I'm looking forward to his portrayal as the greatest spy in cinematic history. As an already accomplished action star, he's a force to be reckoned with in the world of acting as well. And I suggest revisiting his filmography from the indies that he did, and even his work as a youth, to obviously his major blockbusters that I've mentioned here. Not often do we see a person that's in this profession react the way he has been. He certainly is handling Hollywood with a grace and a humor and, and a kind of focus on his craft that you don't see. There's a lot of self-discipline in this guy. And even when the roles change, whether he's donning a mask of a superhero or the tuxedo of a super, super secret agent, I think Aaron's star is going to continue to rise. And I think 
he'll become one of those names that we consider a superstar or a celebrity. In other words, I see him lighting up the silver screen with every performance that he gives, and uh, I look forward to that. And as mentioned before, I will be seeing Aaron's upcoming uh, film roles, uh, like the Fall Guy, where he's playing a side character, and his titular character film, Craven the Hunter. So be on the lookout for those film reviews, because I'll drop them as soon as I see those. But I want you to actually tell me what you think about his upcoming role as James Bond will be like. And if you think it's possible to make a good Bond movie in this current age, I'm not sure that it could be done, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. And as always, be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others, and until next time, see ya.